Welcome back everyone. I finally got mods to work on my world. Mods add things to a world that Minecraft doesn't normally have. I can't wait to see what I can do with what these mods give me. However, that will be in future episodes. Today is going to be a busy episode, but before we get to that, I have separated the pigs, sheep, and cows into their own parts of the pasture. So, let's get started. So I'm separating out the pasture into three sections. One for the sheep, one for the cows, and one for the pigs. Mainly because the cows and sheep both take hay to breed. And when I do have hay in my hand, they all come toward me. So I need to make it easier for me to uh, breed them. And I'm using the dark oak gates and the cobblestone walls as well as around the pasture to make it look, you know, keep it the same. I'm going to move some of the lanterns onto these walls on the fencing. Uh, so some of them are going to be gone that are, uh, you know, on their own little lamp posts and lanterns out, you know, by themselves. They're, some are going to go. But yeah, time lapse time. Okay, piggies, let's go. Follow me. You want this potato. You want it really bad. Come on. Come on. I have your own little area for you. You need to go into it. Come on, guys. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, they're going to go into this pasture. All right. Yeah, there you go. Come on, piggies. Come on all the way back here so I can go there and... There we go. Yay, piggies. We'll feed you. We'll breed you in a little bit. Now to get the sheep and cows out of here. All right, guys, let's go. You don't belong in here. Come on. Let's go. Mr. Creeper, you don't belong anywhere. All right. Come on, guys. Come on. There we go. Now I'm going to shut these gates. I know there's still a cow in there and a sheep, but I'll get those in a little bit. Okay, so this is where the cows are going to go. I'm putting the sheep in this area here. So I think I'm going to have to go get these cows out, which is why I have the leads. So leads are great because you can attach them to fence posts and um, you can attach like an animal to a fence post so it can't go anywhere. It kind of stays a little bit, you know, stays until you take it off the lead. But it'll be temporary. I just got to get them moved. And I want them in a certain area. So I figured this is just the easiest way to do it. So come on, guys. Come on. Come on. There we go. I'm going to put them in this corner over here. Let me shut the gate. There's a corner over here, up in here. They'll be far enough away. They can't go anywhere. So grab these guys. And I can't attach to the wall or the gate. 
So fence post, let me go grab one and we'll put it down. And then I will attach the leads. There we go. So let me go grab these cows over here. And like I said, they're all over the place because they, they didn't have get you know fences before. They'd go anywhere they wanted. So let me lead this one out. Uh, of course. Go in there, Mr. Sheep, for right now. <laughs> he just, as you please, walks right through the gate. <laughs> so I'll put a fence post down over here, and we'll attach this cow to it. And I believe there's one more cow over here. So we'll grab it and bring it over here and attach it to a fence post. Then I can get the sheep with no difficulties. Okay. All right. Time for you, Miss the Sheep. And grab them all. In we go, guys. There we go. And here they come. And of course, they're stragglers. I'll go grab them. Grab them. Grab them. <laughs> I can talk. I really can. They never. It's so funny when you get them in big groups. There's always a couple that get disinterested in the hay. And they wander. All right, Creeper, you need to go. You're annoying me now. All right, come on, sheep. Let's go. Join all your other sheepy friends. Come on. And then I will get the uh, pigs, and we should be set as far as the separation goes. I can breed easier. I will separate the pigs out uh, into another area, uh, like 16 of them. Uh, there's 16 uh, different colored dyes you can have. So I do want my sheep that have the different colored wool. So they will not, they will be safe from the uh, sword. But um, yeah, I'll pull them out and then uh, just color them, dye them. And then I'll start bringing the others so I have mutton to eat. Mutton like beef is a good source of uh, when you're uh, low on health. I, I believe you get more saturation from it, which means you um, when you eat it, you get more health out of it. There's some food you eat, you only get like half a heart. It's really annoying. Oh my god. Come on, guys. Oh, you're annoying me. Let's go. Let's go. And of course, if, if you notice, the more animals you have of one thing, the more they don't listen to you. So, uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. They're in there. Whew, okay. And now to deal with the rest of the pigs. And come on, guys. You want this potato? I'll breed you later. Come on, I'll breed you later. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, my God. Seriously, I had to get my potato out of my hand. <laughs> That's how quickly they get disinterested. As soon as you pop it out of your hand, they're like, nope, not calling you anymore. Oh, thank you. All right, guys. Thank you for doing that for me. Ah, there we go. Let me out. And let me go take care of the, the cows and get them off the fence posts. Let them wander. They got plenty of room for themselves now. And I can breed easier. There we go. Grab the rest of these leads. Yay! <laughs> I should have done this in the first place, but I didn't do that. Okay, here's the bee area that I made for my bees. I've got a flowers in the background there. 
so they can get pollen and pollinate. I'm going to put a barrel here and I'll put a workbench down uh, below it here so I can craft uh, the honey into honey blocks if I want or the honeycomb into honeycomb blocks which are decoration only. Honey blocks you can use for various things, decoration or they do have practical purposes. Um, the fires are under the bees nests because if I don't have them there and I'm in survival and go to collect anything out of the nests, they will sting me and they will die and I will probably die. So not a good thing. So, uh, yeah, the footage I did get of the bees nest collecting didn't quite work out. So sorry, I don't have that. Maybe in the future when I find more, I'll get footage there. But uh, for right now, I don't have any. So yeah, there we go. Bees have a new home. the bee area that I made for my bees. I've got a flowers in the background there so they can get pollen and pollinate. I'm going to put a barrel here and I'll put a workbench down uh, below it here so I can craft uh, the honey into honey blocks if I want or the honeycomb into honeycomb blocks which are decoration only. Honey blocks you can use for various things, decoration or they do have practical purposes. Um, the fires are under the bees nests because if I don't have them there and I'm in survival and go to collect anything out of the nests, they will sting me and they will die and I will probably die. So not a good thing. So, uh, yeah, the footage I did get of the bees nest collecting didn't quite work out. So sorry, I don't have that. Maybe in the future when I find more, I'll get footage there. But uh, for right now, I don't have any. So yeah, there we go. Bees have a new home. Oh, I made a map wall, which I didn't show you the last time. There's nine, uh, nine maps. The home world's in the middle. And I went around the home world and uh, filled out all those maps. So I can kind of see what I have around me and biomes and I have a map wall down in my plains area as well or my, my I'm in my plains area I'm sorry I have a map wall in my underground base as well so I have this barrel here that has the maps in it has the extra things and um, let me put the west map in and I can make copies with this cartography table and, and empty maps and an anvil to name things so it's pretty cool um, I store the maps in here so when I need one, I can pull one out. So, yeah. All right, let's show you around my house now. I have this new mod. The Biomes of Plenty has some things in it, which is sweet. And then I have this one for with furniture in it. So it has a kitchen sink. The cabinets actually open. And there's 
different color cabinets with different woods and what have you. And then these all open, which is cool. And these chairs you can actually sit in. But I did the upstairs more right now. The downstairs is still a work in progress, but here's my upstairs so far. These chairs you can actually sit in. Pretty darn cool. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Let me get the right way so you can see me. Okay, come on. Come on, turn. There we go. You can actually sit and sit here and look at the sun, sunrise or sunset and and everything. And these little plants right here is a coffee table. These plants are called rainbow saplings. They are from the biomes of plenty. So I put them into pots, clay pots, and you have a nice little decoration. There's the biomes of plenty and there's the rainbow birch sapling. So just to give a little color, uh, I didn't want to go too far out, you know, with color. But here's my bedroom area and I put more over here. And these are uh, book or, uh, drawers that actually open, which is cool, more storage. So it's nice. And there's my, my bed with the bookcases behind, the book cabinets behind them. And these are daylight sensors, which I use for benches. I, they go really nice in front of beds and things, but I need to decorate this more on my desk that you'll see, see at the clothes or sit, me sitting in the chair. But uh, yeah, I mean, I love this. This is so awesome in here. You know, I have so many things that, you know, mods now. I want to get more, but I have some mods that I can actually work with. This will look nice. This is not done by any stretch of the imagination. It needs to be more. It's kind of plain still. All right, but here I have a mod with lamps in it, and they go various ranges on blocks. So, like, I mean, it goes up to 20 blocks. Uh around so it's pretty darn cool um and there's some other things in there i'm not sure what they do um i have to look up some tutorials and find out about this mod to, and uh, what do i do with it but these are window panes that glow so i'll have to try those somewhere you know and I'd like i say i'm not sure what all these do but i will figure that out and I like the fact that these rods, I have a feeling you could probably put those up in places and make them look uh, light places up, which is nice. But yeah, this is neat. And uh, let's see down here. There's other things down here. I'm not sure. They go with something, but like I say, we'll figure that out. Then I have these decorating blocks here, which you can use. Um... Yeah, like these palisades. I'm not sure what these palisades are. I'm guessing they're walls, um, but let's go and check them out. So let's grab one here. And okay, so basically you can make a post with it or you could do a wall with it, which is kind of nice. Be a different kind of fence or a wall. Let's see. And then there is this little thing here, which it could be a step. I think it's a little, a little seat without a back to it, like a little a one-legged stool, basically. But I would see you could probably use those for stairs if you really wanted to. Uh, let's see what else. And then this is a support, which I'm guessing you put on a wall maybe, or even on the ground and put like maybe a you could put like a crate on it or a chest or something, you know, or put it, make a shelf in a house. That would work too. I'll have to experiment, experiment with all these. And uh, yeah. And then there's, let me see, this, this one, was, which is where I got the chair and tables and the sinks from. And all kinds of things. It's pretty cool. They even have mailboxes and these are the crates they have in there. Now these would be great for like storage rooms. They'd be awesome. And let's see what else. And here's a gate. Now that's cool. Oh yeah. See, you can walk in and out. I wonder if it'll work with the palisade here. I'm not sure. We'll have to try it. 
but let me give it a try. We'll put it in the middle here and see. Yeah, no, no. I think you have to have a different a different thing with that. In fact, I don't even know if the Palisades will work with doors. That'd be something I have to look into. Um, let's try it with this fencing here. Oh, nice. Look at that. See right through it like a picket fence? That is cool. Oh, I'm going to have fun with these mods. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're going to see my area get well improved, I think, and future areas. Um, and these over here I found were hedges in the same mod. And uh, they're basically, I think, a third of the size of the blocks. I won't say a half. That looks like more than a half, uh, less than a half. But they're... Um, they're basically hedge fences, which are pretty cool. Look at that. So now instead of using a full block, I can use the little hedge there. I'm going to like this mod. And then as you saw in the opening, I made a bench here, which I was sitting on. And I have a little table with my uh, cup of drink of choice in it, whatever I want to put in it. And so, oh my God, I'm going to have fun with this mod. I'm going to have so much fun. Just you wait. Thank you to all my amazing patrons. Fantarang, Darth Wedgius, Roy Kama Fraser, C4, and AJ Ravenwolf. I am starting a new series of episodes called Let's Play Minecraft Biomes of Plenty this Thursday. As the name states, there are new biomes included with the regular biomes as well as items from those new biomes. I have also installed several other mods that will be included in both my series. I will be doing Let's Play Minecraft Biomes O Plenty on Thursdays and let's take a break from Stupidity with Minecraft on Mondays. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. Oh, and hit the notification bell so you will be notified when I upload new content. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.